Okay, so we've looked at what a diode does, but how does it actually work? You don't need to know this, by the way, for the Year 12 syllabus. It's just uh, out of interest. So basically a diode, it only allows electricity through in one direction. Uh, so it only allows the current through in one direction. And it has to be laid out as it is here in the diagram. And it has two sides. It has a left-hand side and the right-hand side. And the left-hand side on this one, the, the one closest to the positive, is called a P-type semiconductor. And the one closest to the negative is called the N-type semiconductor. And what they, they are, this, this one here is made of silicon mainly. <clears throat> but the P-type has, has added has had boron added to it. Now, it sounds a little bit like chemistry, this, but it's all to do with the electrons in the outer shell. So silicon has got four electrons in the outer shell, and boron has three. And if you remember anything about chemistry at all, uh, then you know that the outer shell, the atom, the atoms want to have eight. Well, what happens here is the silicon shares the boron's electrons, and in total they've got seven around the outside, which means really on the p-type side they want one more electron if they can get it to make a full shell of eight. On the n-type semiconductor, so the, the negative part, silicon joins up with arsenic. Uh, arsenic has an outer shell of five, so this gives a total of nine electrons. Well, again, they really want eight, but they've got nine, so they want to get rid of one. So what happens is electrons actually move from the n-type towards the p-type, which means they flow that way. So the electrons fr flow from negative to positive, which we know agrees with conventional current. And that's how it works. Uh, out of interest, the, uh, the process of adding the boron and adding the arsenic to silicon is known as doping. Okay.